else retweet your uh, send out your post? No, you don't. Yeah, I, I do. I, no, no, news to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the only one spreading my agenda, to be honest. <laughs> it is, it is working. Me, I've me. never heard him so sad before. <laughs> It's working because niggas on the TL like yo, like no, it's like this weird little insult that's yeah, like, oh, that's I'm being really hater rated. I'm just like dog. What have I done? <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, look what Clay started. <laughs> like, like nah, bro, like, it's it started real? with Clay just talking about Zendaya. It blew up to the whole timeline talking about it. <laughs> like no, and no one wants to give me credit for that. Like I, that was I, my, I do. Like, I'm like, this is Clay's me. fault. Like, really like, like, I, I sacrificed my career for her. Like, really, I just like, those checks. Clay's like, I've given everything to you. Like, literally. I'm sure he like, appreciates that. Uh, yeah, I better get some Spider-Man royalty. A little bit. With the Comic-Con oh. thing. Because, um... Oh. That was... Join us in talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, when are we going to like talk? Uh, like tonight. Next couple minutes. Here in like ten um, minutes. <laughs> oh no, I, I can't. Oh, I I just came to Cordon, but I'm probably gonna eat dinner soon. Okay. Well, uh, Dave, well, Clay, but, just can you just introduce yourself because I'm still recording anyways, like an asshole. So, um, <laughs> Clay, give us a cold intro, please. This is your boy Jiggle Clay, back from the grave, back from. Being blackballed, <laughs> a bunch of individuals. <laughs> I come back because you guys need me, and I, and I carry you guys. It's like Brett Favre. It's like Tom Brady with the Patriots. I kind of carry you guys to the finish line. Without me, you guys would not have six rings. So that's just facts. Look, I'm pretty Fuck sure by the time Brett Favre retired, like his team had to carry him off the field. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, hey, bro. But no, but Spider Man, no, it's like, what was I going to say? But no, Comic Con was so bad. Like, people are dick ride Marvel. Like, is I hate to sound like that Sage. happened other than the MCU announcements? Because I can't think of anything else. Um, Top Gun. Oh, right. Wait, why was that at Comic Con? <laughs> <laughs> the why not, Priest? It was, it was a dry year, Priest. Oh, well, it really was. Well, like, everybody <laughs> left because this, Disney came. Through, so everybody kind of just ran off my crows, man. Yeah. yeah, look at the Power Rangers booth. But yeah, yeah, but the MCU, but the, even the MCU panel is kind of mid, though. Like, I don't want to sound like Sage Terrence here, but like, yeah, it's not all that, to be honest. Sage but, Terrence. But what about, you know, female Thor, guys? I mean, Dr. Thor. Bro. Oh my god. Can you just let me talk about that? Because as a white woman, I have authority. And I will say that the five. female Thor arc of J of Aaron's run is the worst part of his run. And if they did the one like right before that, the God Killer arc, that would have been fucking amazing. But no. Welcome to the Legion of Boom podcast. Nah. Boy, you know you ain't saying that. No. <laughs> 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 like I'm like uh, female, the God female damn. Is because like I'm, I'm just playing, uh, it's kind Look. of mediocre the female four. Let me speak, but um, like I was saying, the female <laughs> four stuff was like I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But I don't want to sound like a neck beard that's like woman females. Grr. So I just kind of like keep it quiet on that one. Look, it's like, I mean, whatever. like. Yeah, just the neckbeard stuff, like, where they go wrong is they're like, oh, women shouldn't be superheroes. Like, this, yeah. this position rightfully belongs to a man, blah, 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 blah. So and, like, if white... you want to do a Valkyrie or a Sif series or, like, even introduce a completely new Asgardian deity who is a female, no yeah. issues with that. The issues that people have with female Thor is that it's not a very entertaining comic art. Yeah, it was one of the most, <laughs> it was legitimately, like, what was really boring. Like, it was that's mid. Just, yeah, it was pretty mid. It was yeah, it was mid. It, it wasn't trash, but it definitely didn't keep your attention. But the best announcement was Blade, obviously. So, like, oh yeah, no, I don't like, think. Uh, well, 
I was about to say, I don't think anybody saw a new Blade movie being announced, but yeah, I mean, there was probably down the line eventually. Yeah, but I was happy about it. But everything else, I was like, oh my God. Like, like the Disney Plus series, is, I, I don't care about I'm not getting Disney Plus. Is Shang-Chi yeah. a Disney Plus series that they're doing? No, it's a, no it's that's a, a movie. movie. Ah, shit, yes! This has I mean, had a real Mandarin in it. Yeah! Go. I, I'm, I'm, exci- I'm excited for that purely just because I want a Chinese Go. martial arts film. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 uh, the Eternals was. Mm. Eternals sure. is probably going to be mid, to be Does honest. Does anybody care about the Eternals in the comics? Nope. No, uh, because they no. haven't been relevant in 45 years. Remember when they tried to do. <laughs> hey, remember when they tried to do an Inhumans TV series? How did that go? <laughs> Isn't Thanos one of them? The Eternals? No. Yeah, oh, okay. I thought he was one of them. I'm pretty sure he's not. Side note, no. though. Side note, Inhumans was big goat. Big goat. I've never what? seen it. Inhumans actually was goat, bro. The TV series know. or the comics? Oh, dude, the TV series. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, this is Ro we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Ro like everything. Yeah, Ro like everything. You can't, you can't trust this nigga's face. <laughs> Ro like beyond the grid. Yeah, oh, <laughs> no, no speaking of 41, 41 was low key fire. Yes, it was. I'm about to read it in like, yeah, in a minute. I'm about to spoil it right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm about the to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Are we actually doing the podcast now? <laughs> yeah, I've been recording for like six minutes. Y'all just want to start and just wait until. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem. Like, my man five dirty. This is the problem when I you say start. We wait. When you start talking about the stuff that you're going to be talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. it's hard to hold here. back. Yeah, well, then, like, you think when you're actually recording the podcast, oh, I don't need to bring that up. I've already talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take those toes down to Old Town Row. I'm going to suck till I can't no more. I'm going to take those toes down to Old Town Row. I'm going to. Suck till I can't no more. I got the Legion in the back. Comics are attached. Fire J pop tracks, and I grab my homie's ass. <laughs> I left you alone, all right? Go take your shit. <laughs> yeah, thank God. You no, uh, let's go. Let's get this. Let's no. kick it out. Oh, we're, we're, we're rolling. So let's go. Welcome to the Legion of Boom podcast. We're back again. It's Ginga Herb and the homie. I'm Meta, please, for the list. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Punch you in your chest. One time I do it. <laughs> One time I do it. <laughs> Yo. All right. Moving on to roll over clean. I got I'm I'm done. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, y'all? It's Roll Over Queen. It's good to be back. I missed you Roll over Queen 2, you're up. Uh yeah, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Roll Over Queen, man. I missed y'all again. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, everybody? It's Sentai 5. Good to be back again recording finally thank god it's been like this is like the first like episode we've done all summer officially (laughs) i was literally gone for a month and you guys didn't put anything out in that time all right pre first of all i'm the one who actually made the effort and try to get everybody together but everyone just didn't respond look if you're gonna be this cranky go ahead and just go take that shit on me (laughs) (laughs) no because i'm not i'm not gonna be blamed for something that I mean, do. we were hey, blaming listen, you, bro. We were busy. Vacation. I don't care. Listen, I don't care what you have going on in your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Legion comes first and foremost. That's yeah, it. I don't want to hear no stupid excuses. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're not. Yeah, you're not on those carpet fuzzies. You don't fucking say you're gonna show up and don't. Executive decision. We are recording again tomorrow night. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. I thought are we were doing chief? it next week. Okay. No, no, no. We're, we're what are we recording tomorrow? tomorrow? What are we talking All about right. tomorrow? We're talking yeah, about we're... fucking comics. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Count me out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I probably, it's me. I probably won't be around. Sunglass Pre, aka the Blitzkrieg, aka Gal Guy hey, Godzilla. Goat. Hey, Blitzkrieg Goat. <laughs> All right, Comic Con news time. Well, the Power Rangers booth was empty, so it's getting canceled. (laughs) It's getting canceled right alongside Sentai. Shame to see him go. Hey, Kamen Rider. You hate to see it. Everything get canceled. (laughs) Everything's out of here. Except for Disney+. Plus. Okay, so the coolest thing that happened 
at Power Rangers booth to me was that they announced the uh, team up. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. Because <laughs> everything, everything else was, you know, some they lightning figures coming stuff. out. <laughs> yeah, like lightning figures are coming out. Yeah, that so, uh, that that Green Ranger putty two pack. Yeah, how about, yeah. Oh, that's that's that. how about that super detailed putty? Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, go. Dude, that, that is kind of raw. Look like it's it straight out of the fucking series. Yeah, it's like, yeah. damn. The Green Ranger got the silver stripe on his head. Yeah, forever um, <laughs> fighting spirit version. Yeah, bro. What I'm else did they announce that... for the Power Rangers stuff? And more, uh, I think, uh, not, not more. Beast Morphers Gold? Yeah, Beast huh? Morphers Gold got a uh, lightning figure. Yeah, besides the Wave 2. Oh, dude, Magnet Defender looks amazing. Awesome. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that God. is a really cool figure. Ooh, you, know, you, know, you know what the best thing is? He's bulky. Like, he like he looks like a dude in armor. Oh, yeah, yeah. he is an absolute unit. <laughs> it's, it's not Mike. Yeah, it's not Mike. It's not Mike. <laughs> There's no, no civilian head with that. Go. Mega go. <laughs> J- Jason. <laughs> Meta, what'd you say Jason looked like? Oh, Jason? Yo, yeah. ASJ looked like a fucking pit bull standing on two legs, to be honest. All right. That man shaped his beard. There's you're a reason not, he got You're it. not exaggerating. All right. Look, I'm just going to say, whenever I saw that trailer, I was like, damn, ASJ had that gun safety video on YouTube. Is he about to bust it out? <laughs> God. Yo, you know what killed me? It's Tay's meme that he posted the day after. Hey, yes. Uh, what's going on, TJ? Uh, <laughs> My name's Devin. Oh. <laughs> what are we up against, TJ? <laughs> oh, you you know some uh some some new villains attacking us and everything. All right, so Scott, your team says hi. <laughs> your team. Boy, yeah, they they playing a hot potato with that red power morpher dog. Yeah. Listen, it, listen. Uh, D- Jason never really truly lost his Red Ranger powers. They, you know, you never saw him demorph. Ever. You really did it. <laughs> yeah. It, it literally just got copied. Yeah. That original footage looked raw. Oh, it does. Matched up decently nice to, you know, the the actual dino team up, just in a different glory. And the lighting actually looks pretty good on them. They actually good. look like Spend. Mm. So, also. Dino Thunder Blue is definitely in the episode, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, <laughs> he might be. You voice. don't. He might. It might be voice, or they might just use like some crappy voice act. You never know, because it's literally they literally matched up the Sentai. Like mm-hmm. you can't even. Like, oh, I don't really? know why people. Are, I don't know why people are freaking out about that. Like acting like that's like a big deal. Right, because we knew that. We saw that was. If you've never seen Go, uh, Kill Ranger versus Go Busters, and you're. Freaking out about that? That's a different story. But if you've seen <laughs> yeah, the movie seen and you're it. freaking out that you know Kevin Duhaney's in there, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you really that are. That was stupid. obvious. And like, I think the the set cast that we know is returning. I think that's it. That's it. They didn't show any of them besides Jason. So, do you guys think? So we know that as of today, uh, Mason Truman's coming back. Along with Dr. K. So do you think they're doing like this crazy like mixed team up along? That'd be pretty cool. It might be. Yeah. It might be some dimensional nonsense. Yeah, Yeah, it's probably dimensional nonsense. Do you mean like it has to be dimensional nonsense because Tyler's gonna be in there and the rest of the uh, I think it's gonna be two separate episodes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. Because I think they're already done rap they're already wrapped up. Well, don't speak so soon. Don't speak so confidently. You know, in the past, we thought Dimensions in Danger was going to be a two parter. That is also true. It's because uh, they had mad niggas. Yeah, in. So. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. I hope it's two. I've been wishing I hope for it's two so. also. I hope it takes the place of like one of the uh, holiday specials. Oh, oh, God. I prefer that. Yeah. I think we all would. Don't give us a shitty Halloween special. We don't need that. So, yeah. Well, because it's Beast Morphers and Beast Morphers has been doing pretty well, I mean, would it really be trash though? They're not doing a Super Beast Morphers. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna be named Super apparently. Mega Beast Morphers. It's just gonna be Beast Morphers. Beast, Beast, X. X, Beast X Morphers. Yeah. Beast X Morphers. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do something like that. 
I'd rather them call him Beast Morphers X. Season That's pretty wild. Yeah. What Herb said. That trailer look that trailer was really was really good. I can't wait for the show to come back, really. Bro, yeah, that red box got a Ooh. body. Oh the I was about to talk about the red arm. God damn. Yeah. Mm. Please. Wait, we don't gotta wait that much longer, right? It ain't, ain't coming out in a couple weeks. At the end of summer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah apparently it's supposed to come back in like sometime in August. Oh Yo, shit! I'm really salty that like France and all get the episode first. Like I have family here from France, but that's here right now. I'm about to rash the fuck out of them. Bro, <laughs> Australia gets the episodes. It's fine. Australia's been getting the episodes early. Yeah, people watch the up, episodes. So aren't they up somewhere? Like, yeah, yeah, um, Vimeo. Or Vimeo or Daily yeah. Motion, you know what's up there. So I'm about, about PR right? PR Tor- Power Rangers Australia, the account. Uh, that guy's been uh kindly uploading the episodes every week. I might watch them because I ain't got cute. <laughs> Yo, me neither. Yeah. So I'm trying to use the rabbit to watch that. Yeah. Hey, to be honest, <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I'm out here lacking. Look, we still got ten days till or not ten days, seven days till Rabbit shut down. We we good. We can catch wait, up. Wait, is it? Wait, it's that's official. in seven days. I don't know if yeah, it's official, yeah. but I heard the week date. Oh, <laughs> Rabbit hey. sucks. Man, it, it really does. Can we have a moment in silence? Because no, rabbit, no, I would, <laughs> I would not be here without Rabbit. Hey, hey Matt is right that is true. That. Free wouldn't be here either. That is true. Exactly, your mayonnaise would not be here. So the, the main, the main yeah, thing that's action. sad, the main thing that's sad about <laughs> Rabbit being shut down is that there's other like screen sharing and stream services. They but suck ass Ra- though. Rabbits, yeah, they suck ass. And Rabbit's the only Worse one. That ra- Rabbit's the only one that goes entirely through your browser and also uses a proxy browser. So you can stream basically anything you want, including like Plex, which basically just lets you stream stuff from your PC, and it's awesome. And there's no other service that does that. So when it goes down, it's going to suck. <laughs> Wait, so do we know why it shut down officially? Like it got bought out? That's what you were saying? It got bought out, and then they didn't have a business model for how to actually afford to expand production. Because, so, I mean, like, it was a popular service. So it expanded beyond the point that their servers could accommodate, and their investors didn't see a reason to put in money for it when they weren't getting money back from the expansion. That sucks. That's yeah. whack. It does suck. It is whack. Yeah, let's, a moment of silence for Rabbit, please. Man, we ain't pouring one out for Rabbit. We got too much to talk about. Let's go. <laughs> I just pulled one out. Uh, the Omega Rangers look terrible. Uh, like the real life, like the <laughs> the real life helmets that they had out there. They look got a stinky. black ranger and a yellow ranger, and we're going to have the accenting colors be black and gold. Yeah. <laughs> Retardation. I don't know why I don't know why they do that. Like I much would have rather like being exposed to one today, just today, instead of being yeah, exposed just today. to like last week. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. Normally, listen, I normally won't make, you know, a crack about being exposed to certain things early, but that's the only grab I'll have. That I um, won't complain. Yeah, that would have been cool to see as a debut in the comic. Yeah. They look way better in the comics too. Oh jeez, they look they look a hundred times better in the comic. Oh yeah, like that coloring though. Ooh. Yeah, man. Jesus oh. Christ. Five, are you back with us? Don't. Oh, yeah, I had some uh, connection issues. I don't know. Discord's really yeah, being a little buggy. Everybody was roboting on my end, so I just decided to tap out for. A I bit. might do the same. I was waiting for a chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sucky abs, Discord, you guys suck. <laughs> and then, of course, he robots out of the game. He robots when he said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh, God. We were talking about how ugly the Omega Ranger helmet. What? The Omega Ranger helmets that was out there. Listen, I don't care what Tavion Jackson says. Those suits are. <laughs> They're wrong. And they look much better in the book. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't care what Tay says. Oh, they don't. They don't mesh well or whatever. Bro, you like the Toe Future suits? You <laughs> <laughs> like those for anybody? I'm like, bro, you guys like Toe Future suits? Those are some of the plainest things I've seen in my life. See, I don't 
See, even Discord agrees with me. That's why it's cutting out five right now. <laughs> bro, uh, Discord is whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a new service. Yeah. Look, if we weren't going to have a moment of silence for Rabbit, Discord wants us to have it. Yeah. <laughs> Discord, like, support those small companies, B. Hey, man. Are you guys ready to talk about this buttload of MCU movies? Yeah. <laughs> um, before we start, before we... Star Trek news was better than the MCU. Star Trek Say... news was what now? Yeah, say that again, bro. Was a lot better than the MCU. Probably. Probably. So yeah, I, I, knew, I, I feel like the MCU about... is about to enter the beyond the mid realm. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What do you mean yeah, about? I, think... I told y'all they're gonna fumble not a cap and Iron Man out of here. They don't know. Are you gonna tell you gonna tell me a Black Widow movie is gonna be better than <laughs> Captain Jean Luc Picard returning to Star Trek after like almost twenty years with a dog? With a dog. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at how excited I saw people getting about the Picard trailer. Oh, uh, pre that like made my Comic Con. That made Comic Con because I know there's a lot of exp a lot of people who are expecting the worst of it. So it's cool to see people get what they wanted. Whew. Oh my god, like, that's my favorite cap. I'm not even like a <laughs> huge Star Trek fan, but just watching you guys, got get me hyped. Oh, I'm not god, a big it. Star Trek fan either. I'm a huge Star Trek. Where should I start, Five? Like, if I really wanted to like get into it. <laughs> You could literally start anywhere yeah, and just much. like Yo, do, it's do one crazy connected universe. Really? Oh, okay. Like I've do seen bits and pieces. Do next gen with Picard and Riker, to be honest. But he needs to do next gen with Picard and Riker, to be honest. Yeah, but the first season Bro, or two the... isn't really that great. Really? Yeah, you have to wait till like season three yeah. to like really get. It. I mean, it's not bad, but like if you're just getting into Star Trek, it might be a little. It, bit it's kind of mid. The first two seasons. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Like I really enjoyed watching that as opposed to the old one. Oh, I I, I think I feel I like, like I have old more one. old ones. Like you got old one because I came into it after having watched Ultraman, so I kind of knew. <laughs> I kind of knew the Same tone I was also. getting. <laughs> no, see, look, I was that child. I didn't really grow up around much cartoons. Mm -hmm. Like for some reason, the Sci Fi Channel was always on when I was stuck at my grandmother or great grandmother's house. So that shit was always X Files, Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction, or Star Trek. Oh, you love Beyond Belief? Oh, I fucking love that series. With my boy Jonathan Franks. Dude, Jonathan I'm... Franks actually wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I used to I have my boy. I was yeah, exactly. I saw him in Next Gen Two, and I was like, "Oh, he's here!" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, it's so seeing him in the first season without a beard. I'm like, "Oh, it's not even the same." Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I used to have a tape oh. lying around of Star Trek, and I would just watch it over and over again, even though I didn't know what was happening. And I, I just always told myself, one day I should just watch it. You gotta watch the first Contact movie. That's like the best oh, Star yeah, Trek movie ever. Wait, which one? Really good. Star Trek First Contact? That's like, it's just like two hours of them like shooting. Is that the new movies they're putting out? No, yeah, it, yeah. It's, uh, it came out like 20 something this years is ago. The original it's, it's continuity. A, okay. Yeah. And it's just like Picard, like fucking Tommy gunning with a Tommy gun, <laughs> killing all the Borg in the holodeck. <laughs> it's now I've only seen the first three Star Trek movies, aside from the J.J. Uh, J. Abrams reboots. Oh, those are good. Are movies the J.J. Too. ones worth, watching? especially you know, Rathacon and Ah, uh, the I've only ever seen. Well, I only ever saw the first J.J. J. Abrams one. It's it's pretty decent. It's it's a really big departure. From classic Star Trek, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a good action sci-fi movie, though. It's crazy how like it's still connected to the main universe, but still time like travel. at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> which I fucking hate time travel plots. <laughs> the only time travel plot in existence, actually, the only time travel plots in existence that I like are Back to the Future and Bill and Ted's yeah. Excellent Adventure. No, oh. hell. They're making oh, three. that's right. They are rebooting that. Yeah. No, it's, it's I don't know about it. They're making three, no, right? It's 50 years yeah. old. It's a yeah. old reboot. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Keanu Reeves in his uh, freaking uh, attire. Just being a... <laughs> hey, man. Keanu, Re Keanu Reeves is bored. Yo. <laughs> he got nothing better to do. <laughs> Call my boy Alex Winters up, but let's play air guitar again.
Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it just always like plays. <laughs> Go. The movies are awesome. Anyways, we're not really talking about comic stuff right now, just like Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, man. literally. <laughs> boy, boy, I fell asleep on Comic Con. So did I. All right, let's talk about the MCU stuff. Yeah. MC- oh yeah, we were, all right, all we were anti-hyping that shit for a second. All right, so I got the I got the li- I got the list. All right, good, thank you. <laughs> so I would so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> we got Eternals first. Mid. I don't know anything about Eternals besides that. Seems like I don't the, think anybody like, cares about the Eternals. Yeah. Me neither. I think that's why they probably got like Angelina Jolie and Selma Hayek in it, so they could make Ginger Herb want to watch. The most like random. <laughs> exactly. Basically, who, which agents returned our phone calls? Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> do, does anybody know their deal? Like what the Eternals are? Well, I never really read about them that, that much when I was a kid getting into comics. Yeah, really. I'm not, I'm not big on M- I don't know a lot about the MCU Bro, cosmic stuff. So. No, I, I don't want to spoil a, what's. <laughs> it's kind of related to what happened in Spider Man Far From Home. Because they, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't mention it. Like, Mysterio was mentioning, oh, the Eternals, the Eternals. Well, obviously that was quote unquote <sighs> bogus, but I guess not. Oh, you're saying the elementals. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh, yeah, it was the elementals. Oh, I guess I'm safe. <laughs> Better edit that one out. Yeah, I guess I'm safe. Nah, that's all right. Keep it authentic. Yeah. Well, uh, Angelina Jolie and Selma Hayek are in it, and so is the nigga from Atlanta who played Paperboy. Oh, shit. That, that, oh, yeah, he is. And that's, that's it. That's all I know about the Eternals as of right now. Yeah, all, I know, all I know is now we're getting into more cosmic stuff besides just Guardians. Yeah. And that's that's cool. Uh, are y'all gonna watch it? No. <laughs> I yeah, I'll check trailers. it out. Honestly, I will check. It. That's a maybe for Dude, me. The trail, you know, the trailer is gonna be good. Yeah. Look, I'm sure. I'll like, check it out. It's- I'm sure, like every single other Disney MCU film, it will be perfectly serviceable. Perfectly serviceable, make them shitloads of money, and mm-hmm. <laughs> whether it's, it's anything more than mm-hmm. that is yet to be seen. Yeah, so. Like- so, are y'all gonna buy Disney Plus? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote unquote buy it from, um, you know, I'm gonna be watching my Hawkeye guys, probably. My but, uh... So, listen, y'all want to split an account? So, uh... <laughs> boy, we're paying for Jack. Everybody chipping fifty cents. Le- Legion of Le- Legion of Stealing. For real. <laughs> Legion of Plus. <laughs> One, two, three movies been out. <laughs> Shout out to John. Popcorn time been out. You Transmission. Cool. We'll have the FBI Go. on our case now. Yeah, that's me. I'm not, I'm not paying to watch. Uh, actually, I would pay to watch this. Falcon and Winter Soldier is coming yeah. out. That's the best looking uh, show. Disney Plus show that's coming out yeah. so far. I like honestly, the Captain America show. Honestly, I'm interested in the Hawkeye series because they appear to be drawing a lot from the Matt Fraction run, which is legitimately really good. So, And mm-hmm. I want to see more Jeremy Renner. Did more you guys Jeremy hear Rainer. that? Did you guys hear that Liana Ramirez, who plays Roxy, is going to be a... Uh... <laughs> I thought Ro was going to bring this up. I was waiting no, for it. No, 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 no. We are not going to just breeze by that. So... Congrats to her. I feel Listen. so bad for that girl. Wait, 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 wait. What now? Dude, there's been... I'm like, kidding. I'm kidding, there's man. There's been a push for... Oh, um, I saw that. Who plays Roxy to be... Yeah. What? Listen. Yeah, it's been going on for like a month. Uh... By, that, by that logic... They would have already casted Yoshi Sadaro for Nightwing. Nightwing. Already. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel so bad for her because if they announced that Kate Bishop's going to be in it, that means they've already casted her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I feel so bad for that girl because she's really. Or trying. they're in the process of casting her right now. Yeah. At least. Yeah. She's not supposed to come out, I think, in 2021, I think. Oh, she might have. I think. Her. She might have a chance. Yeah, it's not coming out next year. I, I mean, she better go and show up to the casting after all that in Holland, the timeline doing. I don't know how Marvel really does their yeah, auditions. I don't, know if they do, I don't know if they do open casting calls I like Power I Power Rangers. I sincerely doubt they do open casting. Yeah, because I'm going to talk yeah. about somebody uh, <laughs> next. What? Uh, are we done with Falcon Winter Soldier? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Shang-Chi is the next, is what a, a movie is coming out? Yeah! That, yeah. That guy yeah. literally tweeted Marvel and said, "Hey, Marvel, how about some more oh, yeah, Asian like superheroes?" Four years back, <laughs> and then that nigga is Shang Chi now. <laughs> he, oh he, my! <laughs> so, I guess I maybe you could ask them. 
Yeah. <laughs> could just ask them. Dog, today. Yeah, no, I didn't know he did that. <laughs> today, I, I literally saw... tweeted. Today, I literally What's tweeted Marvel, let me be the spot in the next Spider Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ginger Earth and blow up. <laughs> you know what that, you know? Oh, you know what his actor was t- uh, tweeting, I think, today or something? He was like, yeah, a week ago, I was eating uh, crackers or something and going to an audition, and then a week later, I'm Shang-Chi and still eating crackers. That's crazy. They gonna honestly, have, uh, honestly, though, congratulations to that guy. Holy crap. Man, man. He literally just got cast like the week of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's this, like, who's this again? I forget. I can't pronounce his name. He's playing ah. Shang-Chi. Forgot his name. Oh, okay, his name. Okay. Yeah, but that's wild. That movie better be some heat. It better be all kinds of kung fu. Yo, it's got man. It's got to be heat. Like literally, I don't give a shit who else is in it. I just want a straight up Chinese martial arts movie. Go. Oh, you already know the scenes are gonna be awesome. Yeah. Like oh I don't gosh. want them to screw around with CGI. I don't want them to screw around with like <laughs> big tier actors or anything. I just want dudes beating the shit out of each other. Well Please. choreographed. Imagine Marvel fumbling the bag of that. Oh, <laughs> hey, stop, stop. Don't, stop. don't do that, man. Don't. The Asian community needs this. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, Wait, we... what? <laughs> so next, we got WandaVision. <laughs> hey, nigga, what? And, uh, they, say it's, they say it takes place after Endgame, but from the set. But before Doctor Strange. Yeah, before Doctor Strange, too. But the set photos, like some set photos got. And it looks like a 1950s style set. So, hey man, Elizabeth Olsen in it, so Ginger Earth watching it. You're the only one who's yeah. interested. <laughs> I, listen, I, because here's what I like. The Disney Plus stuff seems to be like it's going to be connected more to the MCU, more mm-hmm. than Netflix ever was. So yeah. I'm really on board for that aspect. They're giving the... That was a given. Yeah. But they're, what they're doing is they're giving the characters who didn't get no shine, because Cap, Tony, and Thor were still in it all. They're giving them some shine time now. Mm. But they, but not in a movie, just you know, a little show. I feel like it's a little bit too little, too late, especially for Wanda and Vision, when oh, like yeah, they should have gotten way more development before any of the movies that they starred in. Vision was born and died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, I, I guess they're gonna try to flush them out some with a little mini, with a little mini series. You know what I mean? He'll finally, learn, he'll probably finally learn what it means to get it. <laughs> oh my god! I was watching Infinity War again, <laughs> and when she cries, when she has to kill him, I'm like, I mean, what, what were you really getting out of this thing? Like, it's a robot man. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna say the whole robot cliche. He was more. <laughs> Hey, say, Something she, must have been happening because yeah, no, it would have been great if they actually showed that off in any of the movies before that point. Yeah, <laughs> it's the yeah. same thing they did with um, Hulk and what's her name, Black Widow. Oh, oh god! Yeah. Oh god! We don't we don't talk about that so on this, this podcast. podcast no way. Is now going to turn into why uh, Avengers Two was really bad. Oh god! <laughs> why do women like green dudes? For real? Why do women no. not like human people? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could fucking write a dissertation on that based on what I've seen on my timeline. God. Hey, man, it was hilarious when Black Widow got when she jumped off the cliff. Was... Who? Black Widow? When she killed herself? I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, like, I was hoping they would both fall together. Me too. Because I hate... I, I still, I don't, I still I don't can't like believe Hulk. people are mad that she ended up being the one to sacrifice herself. I mean... I don't care if she sacrificed herself. That's awesome. It could have been either or, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, the whole I movie mean, was setting it up to be Black Widow, though. I mean, also, again, it was a dead giveaway because they announced the Hawkeye thing, like, a week before right. the yeah. game came out. Anyways. But they also announced the Black Widow movie. Yeah, they... They're just not getting the ball movie with that. Bro, <laughs> that's, that's pretty that pathetic. That's pretty pathetic, it to is. be honest. I'm telling you right now, nobody's nobody's been asking for this movie. I think we people have to, like, Maybe the start of phase. Look, if they could make a Guardians of the Galaxy movie sell and an Ant Man movie sell, they could have found a way to make a Black Widow movie sell before this point. Yeah, they got Taskmaster, so I don't think that's were, a that's a that, that's like an instant watch for me. I don't think they were confident in like Black Widow by herself again, but they weren't. Her. But they yeah. were confident in Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, they're in space and with talking raccoons and trees. 
Yeah. Kids love that yeah. shit. And Ant Man shrinks and grows, and he's Paul Rudd. And he's Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, know. but Ta- Taskmaster is going to be on that movie. That could be clean. Yeah. I know. I like task. I like task map. <laughs> I can't talk. I like tax. I like task master. Task. There we go. Holy shit! We got you. A lot, a lot in the comics. So we'll see how they handle him here. Yeah. Hey, the yeah, time, I love, love task. The, the only knowledge of task master I have been tonight is from Marvel versus Capcom. <laughs> He's the yeah. ultimate swagger, Jack. Yeah. Yo. So now onto the worst logo of anything they've announced, Loki. Oh, good. I'm not oh, the only yeah. one that. Listen, <laughs> boss. Logic. I'm looking at the logo Don't. right. Wait, wait, wait. You, guys, you guys know who Boss Logic is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he had a dope ass logo, and they didn't use it. And people were pitching for Marvel to use that logo. That logo is has he, trash. Has he done stuff for Marvel, like posters, mm-hmm. like posters? Yeah. Um, has he done official thing. posters? For Think no, about he, the he graphic did. designer that got paid boatloads of money from DC, or not from DC, from Disney, to make that logo. Yeah, he, um, <laughs> he no, that's um, what they came. Boss Logic collabed with Marvel to do the Endgame posters. So when you ordered from Adam, which is a movie app, like you exclusively got like one or two of the many posters that he did for. Them. Loki, Loki is um, I don't know why they took so long making this. Also, I don't care about Loki enough to even watch this. I am surprised that they got Tom Hiddleston to come back. Like, how much money did uh, they offer him? I, I, I don't know. Because... <laughs> uh, five bet. But yeah, we just talked about how stinky Loki is, five. <laughs> kind of trash. I don't really... I, I have no interest. This is probably the least interested I am in anything on the list. I, I feel like the reason why people might be interested is because it's time to displace Loki so they can do a bunch of weird oh, things. Oh, they're going to do Journey to Mystery. He's going to create Mutant. Oh. Because he created Wanda and Quicksilver. <laughs> technically. Oh, also, also, there is a new Loki ongoing series that's coming out, so that may be a reason also. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Speaking of uh speaking of Wanda, Doctor Strange got another movie coming up. Look, I do I do not trust life. Disney at all when they say, ooh, this one's gonna be actually scary. No, they're gonna put Shumagorath into one scene, <laughs> call it Lovecraftian horror, put a whole bunch of tentacles fucking everywhere, and then call it horror. I, I do not Elizabeth trust Olsen's this in it, at so all. Ginga Herb is in the front row. I'm ready to watch it. And like I said, I don't trust them with this at all. What's I it like, called? Them? No, I was gonna say I actually like the first Doctor Strange, and I'm wondering why it took so long for a sequel. Because uh, the first one sucked. It, yeah, it wasn't that great. He he didn't. Somebody tweeted he didn't get cool until Ragnarok and Infinity War. And I mm-hmm. really agree. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is go that with one Doctor too. Strange? Yeah, yeah Strange, boy. Yeah. Like really? Doctor Doctor Strange is uh, like. What three minute cameo in Ragnarok was better than his better movie. than his movie? Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. But I think his sequel would be raw, like you know, what I'm saying the mansion madness was it called? Was 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 it called? Again, again, I do not trust them with this at all. I, think I do it's not multi- trust multiverse them to of madness. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah multiverse of madness. So you think like, gonna... oh, it's a Lovecraft reference. Ooh. So y'all think y'all, it's this phase they are gonna. Who's one of them TV shows or movies to like sneak in the X Men? Like That's I think it. with the Doctor Strange one, definitely. Because <laughs> especially since um, Scarlet Witch is going to be in it also. House of M. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking because I was like, they, I was like, Scarlet Witch is in a lot of content. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and and you know you heard uh, Kevin at the end. He was like, "We got the mutants." I was like, "Oh, nigga, you know it's gonna go down." <laughs> 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 they better hit you with that House of M, cuz it's going down. Boy. Oh, it's gonna be full of com- comedy. <laughs> if they if they hit you with House of M, then like at least two or three years later, Avengers versus X Men got to come out because that's like a direct like sequel to it, anyway. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Quicksilver coming back to life in Doctor Strange's movie. 
That's what I think. How do we feel about that quick slip? Like which one? The one from the MCU. I don't remember, I don't remember anything he about existed. that. He existed. Yeah, he existed for forty <laughs> minutes or so. <laughs> I like I like the the uh, fox um quicksilver. Oh, everyone yeah, likes so. everyone likes the That's fox cool. quicksilver. Fun fact: they were both in Kick Ass. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> As homies. Was it was it Elizabeth Olsen and the guy who played Quicksilver in like Godzilla the first one also? Yeah, they yeah, were. They were. They, they were a couple in that in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then they played brother and sister a year later. God. That's weird. Acting is weird when you really think about it. I mean, dude, if they can get like um, the Schofield brothers to be Captain Cold and Heatwave, I mean, anything's possible. Go, go. I still can't believe they did that. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. That's the greatest t- television it thing that ever really happened. really good. <laughs> so after Doctor Strange, we got What If. I was now pretty excited was, about that. That was a mm. real surprise for me. And I don't know what to think of it yet. Uh, that, You're right. We gotta wait till we see something from yeah, it. But What If comics are crazy. They're pretty cool. I yeah. never read them, so I'm, I'm excited. My yeah, favorite no. one. Oh, go ahead, Bri. No, well, I was about to say, like, if you've never read them before, I said this on the timeline already, but they're sort of like, not really the same thing, but they're sort of like the equivalent of DC's Elseworlds, mm-hmm. where, like, they just took, like, crazy random alternate universe scenarios and then played them out. And some of them are really funny and some of them are really dark. It just depends on which one you're looking at. My favorite one is where Wolverine is a Hydra sleeper agent and he killed the Avengers. That's pretty raw, though. <laughs> it's super raw. There's one that's like, what if Spider Man kept the black suit? Like he was like, you know what? Oh yeah, no, I, I kind of like this. Yeah. Go, oh, yo. There was actually came across something like that on the comic shop a couple weeks ago. They have one where it's like, what if? I think it's what if uh, the Punisher came across the the symbiote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do stuff like that. It's just weird one off thing. Oh, that's, that's cool. The cool part is well. For me, the cool part is that it's animated, but they're, but they're going to be voiced by their MCU um, Yeah, that's actors. a really cool idea. Oh, that's what I was confused about because they kept, they showed the cast, like... And those mad niggas on there. Those <laughs> mad niggas, I'm like, oh, is this animated or not? I'm hearing two things. So it's animated, but they're voiced by it. That's cool. Mm-hmm. You see they got Killmonger. You get, they had mad dead niggas up there. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the they, timeline about... They fit, they fit to go stupid time? with the... Hey, man. Killmonger going hard on everybody in the Avengers. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be goats. Look, if that happens, I will definitely <laughs> buy a subscription to watch that. <laughs> That's a little raw can't wait. They got they got Thanos up there. Thanos up there from the pimp slap everybody. Yeah. Cool. That's, great. That's gonna be super. Yeah, that, that is actually one project I'm really looking forward to. I want to see what the animation look like. Mm-hmm. They, they got to go hard if they get that. Do you Disney remember? Plan. You remember the DC Nation thing that they did several years back with DC, where they would do a whole bunch of random stuff with different animation yes. styles. Because I don't, I don't want there to be one animation style for this. Yeah. I want them to do a bunch of different things. I'm gonna kill whoever just farted like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I thought you guys didn't hear it. Yeah, that came out of my lap. You fucking moron. <laughs> All of our followers now know that you just farted. <laughs> bro, bro, my headphones vibrated. I was like, who farted so loud? <laughs> who farted so loud? <laughs> also to be like, meta. <laughs> <laughs> But I know it wasn't Meta because Meta was too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to. Oh my god. Oh man. You, tr- you tripping? So we already talked about Hawkeye. Let's talk about Thor four horror. Oh. Ah. oh yeah. Shit. Did you already talk about the? I don't know what you said. What you said, bro? Did we just oh, talk about what? Oh man. Did you guys talk about Blackton America? Uh. Nah, not really. We touched up on it a little, like, briefly. No, I'm, I'm hoping that he's Captain America in that show. He is. Um, he, are, he already tried out the suit. Yeah, I remember him saying that. Anthony yeah, Becky flexing got, on these niggas. He's got the shield and everything. Why wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be rough. 
I wish Cap would have took Bucky with him when he went back to that. <laughs> why, 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 why is Bucky that's even still? Selfish of him. Yeah, Bucky, like, damn, I, I want to ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Why you leave me? <laughs> what about all those years I was stuck face down in a river? I mean, come on. <laughs> We're supposed to be boys. You left me here with these weirdos. Now I have to be an Avenger? Now I got to hang out with this Nick Nums. Hey, but we're doing everything we can to not talk about Thor 4. Uh, I really do though, because I I want to go. <laughs> I want to go off. Go ahead. Go, go off. Ahead. <laughs> go go. Do we need to like? No, no let's this? not. I really wanted a Valkyrie movie. I would have done. Yeah, I would have preferred a Valkyrie, Valkyrie movie. Would have been pretty cool. If Thor four was just about him and Valkyrie again, I would. I'd be like, hey. Look, if Go. they weren't all, you know what would have been good? A Sif in the Warriors 3 movie if they weren't all fucking dead. What the f- hey, man. I don't know. I feel like we kind of got blindsided. Yeah. I was under the assumption that this was going to be another just straight up for a movie because they announced mm-hmm. him, you know, re-signing again. Yeah. So, and also... Is this nigga in the Guardians yet or or not? So I think they've it? completely changed their plans. Yeah. Yeah, they completely changed it because they said Guardians is gonna be after. Uh, is it gonna be after? <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. Cause all of the people I forgot. I forgot what James Gunn said. Me too. Uh, <sighs> and also, too, I don't want to even. And and also too, um, I remember very very vaguely that Natalie and said she did not have a good time doing those movies. Yeah, no, so that's the that thing I'm most surprised about is how the hell they get Natalie Portman back? Like, how much money did they promise her for this? And why? Because I was content. <laughs> I was content with Tessa Thompson. Yeah. I didn't even know that she wasn't in Thor 3 until somebody told me. I know. I'm just sad because oh, well, you know, when you mentioned a Valkyrie movie would have been really great. Imagine if we got a Valkyrie movie where she finds Beta Ray Bill. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted Guardians 3 to be. How awesome would that have been? Valkyrie and Beta Ray Bill with the original Thor hammer. Beta Ray Bill would be perfect for a Guardians movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literal go. I really wanted to ask Guardians of the Galaxy, but we're never going to. Because Chris Hemsworth played us. We were foiled by Natalie Portman. So we were foiled by Natalie Portman. Yeah, and we were foiled by um, you know, Avengers Endgame because I wanted Tony Stark to survive. So, uh, I'm telling you that that dream was like almost a reality to me. That Tony Stark cool. joins the Guardians of the Galaxy just like a freak coming. That would have been good. Wait, he really joined them uh, like in the books? I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, that's wrong. If I have talked about it like eight times. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's one of the more recent runs. That... I'm gonna look that up. Uh, I got a Marvel Legends figure, guy. No, that's raw. <laughs> okay, so Thor th- th- 4, we're iffy on that, seems like. Uh, what's next? Black Widow is next on my list, but we already talked about that. Yeah, we did. That, yeah. It's kind of mid, Taskmasters in it, whatever. The best part of the entire conference is when they were talking about Black Widow, and they all put their little stupid Black Widow hats on, and then my nigga Mahershala Ali came Ooh. out there. Cottonmouth, <laughs> go. And he put the cotton mouth. <laughs> he put the he put the blade <laughs> hat on in slow motion and he hit the, he hit the smile and the room faded to black and then the blade thing the blade logo came on the screen. Bruh. Top five videos on Twitter.com right Bruh. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's another one that I'm actually kind of excited for. The best part is he stood directly in front of Scarlett Johansson. And did the disrespect. The dis- I, was like, I was like, Black History Month is back, nigga. <laughs> hey, Scar- hey Scarlett Joe, I'm going to let you finish, but Blade was... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Top five movies well, of all time. Top five reveal of all time. <laughs> I was walking around the apartment like, whoo, y'all rest y'all niggas can go home, to be honest. Bro, yeah. I was like on my way to my friend's house and I saw that news drop. I was like, yo, cotton mouth is freaking <laughs> like, like, I, I heard them off now. You know, you know what that means too, when they cause when they, they said two time Oscar winner Mahershala yeah. Ali, you know what that means? That means that nigga called them and was like, yo, I want to be Blake. That's <laughs> what they that's <laughs> what they said happened. That's no. what they said happened. Bro, 
Bro. <laughs> Go. You know, you know, for the longest time, I was very worried about who they would recast as Blade. Because, again, Wesley, I mean, Snipes, Wesley Snipes, like, set the bar pretty high. Pretty yeah. much, but yeah. He's been to Marvel saying he wanted to do it. But mm-hmm. this was just out of left field. I was not expecting this. So, did, and I did think you see it's... What, it's hmm? No, I was saying, did you see what happened lately? Uh, Wesley Snipes actually said, it's, it's all, all good. good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. When, uh, <laughs> when Herschler got confirmed, he's happy about it. He's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, that guy's happy. He ain't better. He better not be salty about it. Yeah. After I mean, all the shit he put through the people on that production, I hope he's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ryan Reynolds Wait, have, have you heard, Like you've heard all the backstory <laughs> stuff behind that filming. It's insane. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> hey, also too, I just want to say this. Like I know people like to throw dirt on the Netflix stuff because arguably some of it is very bad. But you just we we've, we've seen it all over the we've seen it like happen all the time. It's okay for people to get casted for double roles mm-hmm. in yeah. same universes. Like it doesn't mean that the Netflix stuff is is done with. Like they're just on. A, it just means they're getting another job. Yeah. And Cottonmouth's yeah. dead, so yeah. Dog, what if Cotton what if Cottonmouth came back to life as Blade? That'd be really funny. <laughs> or as Wesley Snipes. <laughs> they said Wesley Snipes might be in it. No, they, might try, they might try to get him in as like one of the older vampires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I can see that happen. Funny. That'd be sick. Multiple. He better have his laugh. He better do his laugh. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can't he wait for do, He better do the ice skating uphill line with that. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is my question. Is this going to be the first R-rated MCU movie? Uh, well, As far as I'm concerned, if they're really, really concerned about making Doctor Strange scary... That one, should have, that one should have an R rating, but mm-hmm. they're not going to yeah. do it. And then did it, well, I'm pretty sure like Deadpool, like still. Yeah, they said Deadpool, title. there's another movie for Deadpool on the way, apparently. Yeah, but apparently. It, like, Ke- Kevin Feige said he's not interested in changing the rating for that, so he wants to keep it as is. Yeah. Which, which takes us to the next news. Fantastic Four and Mutants. Mutants, not yeah. even X-Men. <laughs> I feel like they're doing that so people because the X Men movie's been so whack that if they just they call just it mutant, call it. yeah. They I mean, they might the change name. the name anyway eventually and just call it X Men. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But yeah, they could call. I don't care. You want to call them mutants? Call them mutants. But please have the starting, you know, yeah. first class of X Men mm-hmm. from the comics. From the comics, the core five. Please, the core five. Let's go. Beast, Iceman, uh, Iceman, and Archangel, Archangel, right? Yeah, yeah. Go. They need to. I feel like I'm. I'm very happy that Marvel is taking their sweet time with that. Please yeah. take as much time as you can. Please. Oh yeah, you don't want to rush that. You want to build him up appropriately. Yes. So do yo, who do y'all think is the big bad of this? I think it's Galactus. It's probably gonna be, gonna be Galactus. At the same time, they're setting up for, um, you know, Secret Invasion also, it looks like. Oh, that I forgot about that. I forgot yeah. about that. That's right, that's right. We didn't get to talk about Spider-Man Far From the Crib. Let's <laughs> do it a little bit right now. <laughs> Look, admittedly, uh, I actually still haven't seen it. Oh, Pre- you haven't? Oh, you haven't. No, because uh, I was away it. when it came out, and then I just keep forgetting that it's Pre out. was Far From Home when... Pre was. <laughs> I was like 1,500 miles away from home. Pre, you know, just uh, go one to three movies, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what John did. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure that's what John did. I'm, I'm confident of it. I'll see. Uh, it's one of my favorite Spider-Man films, easily. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It was good. But please, for Spider-Man Three, no more Tony Stark creating these villains. And please, shit. please, please, please. Tony Stark spat on uh, scuffed my shoes. I want to kill everybody it's, now. It's funny, it's funny <laughs> too. It's funny too because, like, for Spidey's Rogues Gallery, all of the different <laughs> villains that Spidey has in his own comics, like, come into being because they fucking hate Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. But <laughs> all of these are because they really hate Tony Stark. They all they yeah. all stole Stark technology and we're like, yo, I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a Spider Man villain. Hey man, JB Smooth was hilarious in that movie. He was I'm solely for the purpose because of his Jake list. Jake Gyllenhaal is good in almost yeah. everything he's in. Jake Gyllenhaal was fantastic. Jake Gyllenhaal was fantastic. It's the first I mean, time I could ever say Mysterio was cool. 
Yeah, 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 yeah me too. I was like, you know, I was perfect casting for Mysterio listen, right there. Jake Gyllenhaal, listen, I'll say it, bro, I'd smash, man. To be honest, I'd smash. <laughs> oh, He's got a very nice head of hair and a full beard. <laughs> yeah. And I'm editing the episode. Top three white boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was little, I used to get him and Toby McGuire mixed up. <laughs> I, can, I can actually see alike. that. <laughs> yeah, they look, they look a lot oh, alike. They look alike. Yeah. Well, Speaking of Toby McGuire, never mind. Previous. Somebody, somebody was pointing, somebody pointed out to me, and I completely forgot this happened, but I think it was before Spider Man 3, where Toby McGuire threatened to leave the production. <laughs> and then yeah. they made like some announcement that they were going to like audition Jake Gyllenhaal or, have him try <laughs> Yo, or I would... something. And then Toby came running back. It's like, oh, I'll totally do it. I'm, I, that, that was just a joke. <laughs> Trust me. If you replace them, I probably wouldn't even know the difference as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I would not know. <laughs> but I completely forgot that happened until somebody pointed it out. I didn't even know that happened until right now. Yeah. That like today's today years old. Today's <laughs> Hey, so Fantastic Four. Uh, yeah, Fantastic Four. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah, I hope I hope they bring back um Chris Evans for like, Johnny Storm. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it won't shit, be bro. as bad as the last Fantastic Four movie, it which I think be. is all that anybody cares about. Has anyone actually seen that movie? In no. I, tr- I fucking. I have. It. It's terrible. It's really bad. I couldn't finish it. It <laughs> was just trash. Dude, that they out. do a, they do a time skip in that movie. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, in an origin story. In an yeah. origin, yeah. <laughs> Go, dude. That's, that's why like, I was like, you gotta be crazy. You have to be out of your mind to do that right now. I sk- to begin I with, the movie wasn't even good to- before the time skip, <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't get any better after the time skip. Yeah, Fantastic uh-huh. Four Shibiden was pretty pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I will say thank God. Thank God that movie didn't kill Michael B. Jordan's career. Thank God. Oh, yeah, thank God. It actually took off afterwards. No, I yeah, think, whoa, it did. He, he already had Fruitvale Station under his belt. Oh, yeah, and Creed yeah. was coming soon. Yeah, so... The, the only bad he has besides the Fantastic Four movie is um, Jen Locke. I hate that show. That's a terrible show. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Meta, Meta just switched accounts to act. <laughs> the, the Jekyll and Hyde. No, um, I don't know what people see in that show, but that's a... I don't know why, but keep terrible. it a buck. I fell asleep. Dude, I think Toonami just announced that they're like putting it on like the lineup. Yeah, I had to hype that announcement. I was like, whack. <laughs> Go. It's genuinely like not that good of a show. I think the only reason why they're doing is because like it looks like IGPX, which is like yeah, a yeah. That's oh, like, a hood yeah. classic. Yeah. Oh, it is IG, a hood classic. IGPX is a hood classic. Genlock, yeah. it's Rooster Teeth's shitty attempt at being them fucking like. Oh, that's a oh, rooster teeth thing. Oh, yeah. now we're oh that show. Yeah. I had absolutely no memory of that being a thing until you mentioned rooster teeth. Now I remember <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the yeah. animation is actually like. Listen, I'm never one to complain about animation, but oh my god, the animation for Genlock is terrible. Oh man, it's like the characters it. look. They look like they're running in place and being dragged by a mouse. My mouse. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, what is this? It's like a PlayStation One cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> PlayStation One cutscene. You disrespectful, nigga. It's hey, really man. bad. It's but, bad. Yeah, call, call it like I see it. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, but so that's it. That's the, those are all the announcements. Hey, did we talk about? Did you guys talk about what if while I was gone? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh man, all right. Go ahead and put in on it. Yeah, no, if you have something to say, go for it, bro. No, I've just, I've, I've, I've read a few of the what if comics, so I don't know if it's going to be similar to that or just what if for the MC, you know. Yeah, it's going to be an an animated thing. It it should be cool. That's that's what's even cooler because, like, you just have their actual voices instead of, like, casting, recasting people. That's Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. um, DC has some, some cool things come out of their side, even though it's not much. Uh, supposedly the Titan season two trailer was supposed to come out, but um, I think there was an injury or a death in the stunt team, so they decided not to Ooh. do it. Oh, that's that's terrible. Um, yeah, that so, is a um, shame. Yeah, uh, my thoughts and fan thoughts and prayers go out to that yeah, guy. The family. Um, Seriously. So we, so from what I've seen, we see some of Deathstroke because we all know Deathstroke, Deathstroke is going to be in season two, so mm-hmm. you see a snippet of him. Um, I know Young Justice got announced for part four or season four. 
Mm -hmm. um, it was announced that um, Homeboy, who plays um, the Atom in Legends of Tomorrow, he's going to be playing Superman in... Oh, um, Brandon Groot. Yeah, Brandon Groot. Mm -hmm. He's going to be playing Superman in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. That's happening. Um, what else is... What else is gonna happen? Oh yeah, um, I don't know why it was a big deal. We all know what's happening. Homeboy from Supergirl, who plays Superman, he's gonna be in it as well. Mm -hmm. We got to see the Arrow season eight trailer, uh, which actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I saw the, they revealed the, the, the last four and everything. Um, Wally West is coming back. No. Uh, um, and I think that's it. Teen Titans versus Teen Titans. Go. Wait, sit down again. Sit down again. You cut out. Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go is coming out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> did they? Do we know if um, Dick Grayson is going to be nice? Um, too. It it seems as if it's going to be he's going to be Robin for a little bit before yeah, Nightwing like, oh. because in the Burn this. in the trailer, well, in the trailer, like the the snippet that they showed, he's still he wearing the, the Robin. He had the suit. Robin suit on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was that that seems about to be true. Was Deathstroke in the well, in the trailer? But what, what 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 suit did he have on? Was it like the one that had a force field? Um, you know tomorrow? Vaguely, no. Um, I'll I'll send it to you. I can't just. Yeah, like, I, I forgot what suit he had. Yeah, it's it was really dark. Also, like the screenshot yeah, that it's, it's, really it's Titans. Yeah. Yo, Doom Patrol season two. Oh, it got announced. I don't know if y'all have watched that. Yeah, it got announced. I don't yeah, know if y'all watched that, but that is I've really good. I've been meaning to watch that for ages because that show is I've good. heard about sound makes it sound really good. Duh, Brendan Fraser is awesome in that show. Oh, yeah. As Robot Man, that show is fantastic. I'm just happy to see Brendan Fraser getting work again. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's super washed, too, when you see him. Like, he's, he's super washed. Which, I mean, makes him perfectly appropriate for the character. <laughs> yeah, because <when> Robot <laughs> Man is super washed. Oh, man. Who was missing from the MCU thing? Did they say anything about Ant Man? Um, and I think they it's in development, if I'm not mistaken. Ant Man three is in development. Um, Black Panther two development. Um, Guardians. Guardians um, James Gunn said once he's done doing um Suicide Squad, he's gonna like oh, focus I on. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Could be some. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's about it. Oh, and also, Captain Marvel too is also developed. Whack. Yeah. God. I don't care what anybody God. says. The new big three for Marvel is Captain America, Valkyrie, and Spider Man. I don't care mm -hmm. about Captain Marvel and Black Panther. Get him out of here. I don't want to hear. <laughs> give Sam, give Sam his respect. He's been here the longest. Yeah, they 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 get ready for different Avengers. So. New Avengers. Avengers. So, but I, I like that where phase four is just the rebuilding phase. Now yeah, how it, that's gonna come out, we'll see. Everything announced is either like it just seems like a bunch of new stuff and then everything that's old is a TV show. Yeah. If that seems like to me. So beyond the mid. Yeah, it, it might be beyond the mid. <laughs> yeah. Uh because the news eh, it's okay, but aside from Blade and What If, I'm not really too Yeah, I've only, ever, I've only ever been interested in the really off-the-wall stuff that's coming out of the MCU, like Guardians and Ant-Man and I guess Black Panther, too. So, like, the Blade and the Shang-Chi announcements mm -hmm. really got my attention. But every, Oh, mm -hmm. and What If. But everything else is just like, nah. Look, You're testing the waters again. Let, let's be honest here. Nothing that they are going to put on the screen is going to lose them money. They are risking oh, nothing no. at this point. You sla you can slap that Marvel logo on anything. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to make some money. Is that it? I think yeah, that's, that's it. about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, all right, yeah, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and the SoundCloud and the Spotify. L it's L E G 10 N. Boom. Yeah, man. And, and remember, if you shoot first, don't be surprised if niggas shoot back. Oh, God. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Legion out. Legion out. We out cleaning the streets. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, I miss doing that with you guys. That was yeah, fun. That was